Guys, I have found it. The most evil, racist person on the internet. You must drop everything right now and watch this video. We're going to watch the entire thing. I haven't seen it myself. This is what other people are telling me. You need to sit down and pay attention. If there are kids in the room, get them out. Go send them to their aunt's and uncle's house. Get them all far away from whatever screen or audio that you're listening through this from. Just, just get them out. I'm going to play you the full video with context. And please, please just hold on to your butts. Okay, this time I have a beef with the male community. I give my criticisms to all because we are all about equity and inclusion here, right? So I'm sick and tired of all girls getting blamed or like guys, certain guys, thinking that all girls are gold diggers. I don't know if it's because you get your information from those street interviews in like Miami at 3 a.m. outside of a nightclub. You're getting the opinion of some dumb whores and uh, immigrants fresh off the boat looking for a green card. Yes, they are probably gold diggers, but that's the exception. I'm the rule. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke ass niggas. Um, and they don't care. We don't give a fuck about your money. I couldn't care less about your fucking money, okay? My type is broke mechanics and surfer hippie dudes who just want to live in a shack and surf and have babies. All I ask of a man is that you're competent, you're um, you're not a pussy. If somebody broke into our house at 3 a.m., you would know how to grab a gun and shoot a motherfucker. That's that's pretty much all we ask. Like that's most all that's pretty much like all girls I know. I don't know one girl who's a gold digger. So stop throwing us all under the bus as if we're all gold diggers because we don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about your money. My dating history consists of all broke guys. I actually don't even like rich guys. They have an attitude, they're spoiled brats, they don't know anything about real life. I was raised on a farm with four brothers, so I can't deal with the bullshit. I don't like a pussy. I hate pussies. So stop with the gold digger. Stop. Oh, that's... That's all she said? Is that what everyone's upset about? I want to do a video like this for a while because I have a pretty interesting view on the gamer word, which is nigga, nigger, or whatever. Uh, I, you guys also have to remember, I'm the guy who bought this a year ago, some racist iconography I found in a thrift store. <laughs> yeah, this is this is something I own. It's like a hundred year old poster from the city I'm from. Some super racist show. Uh, I, man, I wish it was a recording of it. But yeah, this I am fascinated by the word because I grew up at a time where everyone would say it. Even now, uh, almost every single race other than white people say it. But me growing up and watching television, I used to watch a lot of edgy growing up. And literally everyone said the word. Jimmy, those people you're hanging out with are no good. Yo, don't be dissing my niggas, dog. They're my thing. The, the reason why this video is just so fascinating, it's because it exposes the fragility of black people in America. It is insanely sad, the uproar that this has caused. Just people losing their minds over a single word. And I use the, the George Carlin principle. It is has nothing to do with the word. The word in it of, of itself there's nothing wrong with it, it's just letters. There is absolutely nothing wrong with any of those words in and of themselves. They're only words. It's the context that counts. It's the user. It's the intention behind the words that makes them good or bad. The words are completely neutral. The words are innocent. I get tired of people talking about bad words and bad language. Bullshit. It's the context that makes them good or bad. It is the intention of the person using it within the context. That's what you need to be worried about. But people just use that. They think if anyone other than a black person uses that word, they're the biggest, most evil person in the world. And it's, whole, and it's just so sad to see. It is just insane that black people get this and seen emotional like rush to like commit some type of action because someone said a word that they don't like. 
And no one could point out what she said was racist because she didn't say anything racist. You could probably argue that she said something a little bit more misogynist than racist, all because she dropped an N bomb. Are you serious? Like, calm down. There are people issuing death threats to this woman because she used a word. And with the full context, she had said nothing disparaging about black people. And I'm sure the people she's referring to are not even black, which makes it even funnier. And yes, I completely understand. I grew up on the internet. She is doing this for rage clicks and she has admitted it multiple times all over her Twitter. So all the people trying to scare her, get some type of rise out of her, she, she's already won. Like People are glad and jumping around that she lost her job. So y'all remember this girl, you know, the girl that decided that, you know, she's going to tell a story and call everybody her friends were dating some broke ass ninjas. Yeah, guess what happened? They fired her ass. <laughs> They blew up her job. They found out where she worked and they blew up her job, baby. And she doubled down. This was her double down video because they made her take the other video down. But she had the nerve to double down and didn't think nobody was going to find you and locate your job. I even called your job. I sure did. I called it. That thing is blocked. You can't even leave a message. They blew up your job. She this is what happens when you spew hate on the internet. It lasts forever. Good luck finding another job because as soon as they see your face and other people see your face, they're going to come back to these videos that are saved forever and people sh And you're gonna lose that job too because no one wants a racy individual at their establishment. And this is exactly why I think we should share that Whenever somebody wanna get racist and stupid on the internet, let's share that as much as we can because yes i understand what like people were saying hey block it and ignore it yeah but that won't really give it comp consequences you know what i'm saying other than like yeah you're not giving it attention but it ain't going away and i mean hey it's still not going away but at least she ain't got her job now i'm i'm much happier than ignoring her now like you feel me this is why i you, this is why i like expose races and get them out there but she's just like okay i'm getting interviewed and she's probably about to get paid to be on so many different outlets and yeah you played right into her hand so yeah you, you didn't win anything and it, it, it's so crazy to see people so enthused and invigorated trying to destroy someone's life over a word but they will do nothing at all to help the community that they so cherish and love they would vote for people who would destroy everything around them rape them with taxes and flood people into your community that don't belong there take things from you and issue it to people that it doesn't belong to what type of activities used to be in this building skating ring exercising you know like a place where you can just go chill and stay out of trouble now we have to find other places what's going to be the consequence of this being changed and just to migrants where are those kids going to go right now probably to the streets to the streets where most of them are already at you know where you know like when we look for help it seems like the state and the governor and them people they push us away they want to turn our children to animals. They want our children to be bad and F up. Yeah. We want better for our community. But this right here is going to be a shit show and it's going to be crazy. Thank you so this much, This is going to be crazy. And I'm sorry about that, guys, but th that's just the passion out here. People are upset because they don't feel like the people that are in power are representing them. Case in point, I'm from Massachusetts, the Roxbury uh, Center that was mostly used by black people all filled with illegal migrants and <laughs> it is just so funny to see that but you have these politicians like joe biden coming out and literally saying to another black person's face if you do not vote for me you ain't black do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or trump and you ain't black not even you aren't black you ain't black and black people still went in droves and voted for this guy. It is still the ch the tide is turning. There are a lot of people waking up to this, but it's not until they found out how expensive and bad inflation has gotten over the years. But if a white woman uses the N word 
it, it, all hell breaks loose. They they would try any which way to try to destroy this person's life, but they won't try to help the people in their own community when there's something going on. They don't even call out pieces of shit that destroy that th their own neighborhood. They they don't call out gang bangers. They don't try to stop the the violence. They don't uh, they don't even care that a lot of their children aren't learning anything in school. There are entire school districts that have failing grades across the board. Conditions are awful here. What about the schools? Schools are awful. We need to do more and better for the children. Right now, they're suffering. Cheatham believes much of the poverty and violence affecting his community can be tied back to education. The federal government, every couple years, releases the nation's report card, or NAEP. Students across the country are tested in fourth and eighth grade math and reading. When Baltimore City joined NAEP in 2009, our students scored 10 points below the large city average. By 2019, Baltimore fell to 18 points below the average. The 2022 results just released show more decline. Baltimore is now 21 points below the large city national average. With an average score of 218, Baltimore has hit an all-time low since beginning national testing 13 years ago. And the parents aren't really doing much of anything. They just can still drop their kids off to get indoctrinated and they walk around with pride flags and BLM shit throughout the entire school year and the parents don't do a single thing about it. Like, I'm gonna show you some examples here. There's someone, I hope someone finds you and skins you alive. It's like, is it really that serious, my guy? Like, do you, do you really, like, this person got so emotional because she used a word and he did it at 4.30 in the morning. He could be in a different part of the country, but like, holy shit, dude, like, calm down. Yep, she got docs too. <laughs> you could sit there and call her a stupid white she could say all these things, but she can't use the N word. Yep, there's another one calling her cracker and everything. And like just complete death threats. But you know, these people don't do anything to help their own community. They're probably walking down the street marching for different countries that they have no idea where it is on a the map. They, they're <laughs> Palestine or Israel and all this other shit. I, my opinion, I don't know. That shit has nothing to do with me. I don't live in those countries. So yeah, and people, they, and they go out of their way to advocate violence over the stupid word. And I don't understand. Uh, and years ago before he turned into a massive pussy, uh, I dubs. He had this great video with Tano Mongu when she did the exact same thing. Well, not the same exact thing. She kind of did use the word in a hateful way, but she kind of try to come back and play dumb and say, I didn't know the word was bad. I thought it meant homie or friend, but no, she was using hard R, but mostly to like her other like white female friends. But he says, like, why is the word nigger or nigger? Why is that held to such a high standard? There's just so many other slurs that are just open and people could use. And you can't use this one. And you telling people not being able to use it, you're giving the word the immense power that you des desperately don't want it to have. But they want it to have that power. The people who want to have that power are especially politicians because you know what? Every single four years, oh my God, the other side's racist. Black lives matter. Just like, just like uh, Tom, uh, what is it? Tom McDonald said, black lives only matter only four years. But it is just really sad and insane to see so many people just lose their minds over this dumb five letter word. Wait, N I G G A. Yeah, five letter word or six letter word. But it is just really, really just sad. And also, good for her. She did double down, which I would have done the exact same thing. And yet, she, she knows she is trolling. She is trolling you. She knows exactly what she is doing. But this just, all it does is expose the fragility in the black community and the complete double standards of everyone that 
participates in this. So instead of just walking around just trying to destroy white people's lives over like a really dumb war, why won't you try to help your own community and try to fix it up? Stop ha stop encouraging black people to shoot each other through the music. That is one thing I completely stopped doing in the last few months. Rap music is just I can't do it anymore. Everything is just black men murdering each other nonstop and it just got really sickening and I just can't do it. It is just I, it, I'm, I'm just completely done with it but yeah guys i know this is just a random video but it is a very interesting thing that is popping up right now and it, it is just so crazy how emotional people get over the stupid ass word but uh yeah let me know what you're what you guys think or also comment below your favorite slur <laughs> Don't do that because you'll probably YouTube is going to delete it and I won't be able to see it. But uh, yeah, guys, I want you to comment below. What is your opinion on this whole entire situation here? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What I don't understand is that if it's so offensive to them, then why do they say it over and over again?